F and Nerd Show. Today I'm talking about, and you know what I'm talking about because you clicked on the video called Godzilla vs. Kong. They fight the movie. So yeah, Godzilla vs. Kong came out. Everybody was like, Team Godzilla, Team Kong, Team Godzilla, Team Kong. I'm not going to tell you whose team I was on because I'm going to tell you later in the spoiler section. What I will tell you is that it was BS. I'm mad. The person I should, I thought should have won should have won. And I'll get into that a little bit later. Let's talk about the movie in itself. What I loved about it. Basic good fun. The perfect thing to have right now when the world is trying to open up but it's not really quite sure with the vaccines and all that stuff. Everybody's like, oh, I don't know. This is the perfect time to just be like, let's just turn our brain off. Shh, shut up. Shut up about everything. Just look at these giant monsters fight each other brutally and horrifically and in the <laughs> in the process killing millions upon millions of people. Let's not let's not get it twisted. But in this universe, you basically get used to it. Uh, I'm sure if the people who from when Godzilla first showed up all the way up until Godzilla vs. Kong, they're probably like, oh, dang, today... Uh, 25,000 people died. Oh, it's another Tuesday. But that doesn't matter. Let's not get into that. We don't care about the humans, and that's what I love about this movie. They they did away with all the human BS. You see Sinkin Kong within the first five minutes. You see Godzilla within the first 15 minutes. And it's like, okay. It just it trucks along. You're just seeing fights and fights and fights. It's awesome. And I like it. Should you see it? Of course you do. Of, co uh, sure, of course you should see it. Because... It's stinking, it's Godzilla vs. Kong. Who doesn't want to see two giant monsters fight each other? Plus there's a bunch of little extra little surprises that you can see along the way. I'm not going to tell you until right now. Get out of here. Go, go see the movie. Shut up. Spoilers in 5, 4, 3, 2. Kong should have effing won. What's this all about? You know, he, okay. So, first of all, he fights Godzilla okay out on the water, right? And then he loses, which sucks. And that was unfortunate. But he's out in the water. It makes sense. Godzilla, king of the water, right? And then he gets his axe. He gets his axe with a Godzilla thing in it that can absorb the nuclear blasts that Godzilla sends out. And he still can't beat him. He has arms. He has boxing arms. He can box Godzilla. He has thumbs. He has a weapon that can sink and attack the one thing that Godzilla can do. <sighs> I digress. Kong should have won, but also a friend of mine recently described the whole thing like Godzilla has apparently never lost, right? So I guess if you want to not make people angry, Godzilla can't lose. But you know, but I do have my own theory about this. Okay, so spoilers again. Mecha Godzilla comes up. And he's like, hey, Godzilla, I'm your doomsday. He's kind of literally functions as the literal doomsday to Godzilla and Kong. If you guys have seen uh, Batman vs. Superman, because Batman vs. Superman, they're like, oh, we, we fight each other, and then Doomsday comes along. Oh, we gotta fight Doomsday, and then Doomsday kills Superman. Spoilers. Uh, but Mega Godzilla comes in, and Godzilla's pretty tired because he just beat up Kong. He just, like, said, Kong, shut up and stay down. And he stayed down. Uh, and he, he died. Well, Kong died. You know, so that was pretty messed up. So that's unfortunate. But then, Godzilla's so tired, Mega Godzilla comes up and he's like, Boom! Boom! Just throwing him through buildings. Yeah, all that stuff, right? And then, uh, Kong, he gets some stupid defib... It doesn't work. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And then he comes back up and he's like, Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired of the fact that I've been dragged around all day to get beat up by this guy. And now the humans are asking me to beat up uh, this metal monster guy. I'm a monkey. What am I doing fighting robots? But anyway, he does it. Godzilla shoots his little axe thing and he takes down Mecha Godzilla. Now, yes, Godzilla did beat Kong and did technically murder him, but Kong beat Mecha Godzilla, who is most definitely going to murder Godzilla. So that makes me think all right, Godzilla keeps his status of King of the Monsters when he beats Kong. But then Mechagodzilla's like, you're about to lose your belt. And then Kong beats Mechagodzilla. In my head canon, that makes Kong king of the monsters. I dropped this mic for one so important in the process of making this video. So yeah, that's uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. Those are my spoiler thoughts about it. I was mad, but it was still a good time. Really fun, really pretty. The Hong Kong fight alone 
It is like a roller coaster. F you, Martin Scorsese, because that's a sinking. That's what you get to look at. And it's stinking fun. All right. So what? Let's just melt. Let's blur the lines. All right. Content is content. Media is media. You like what you like. All right. If you like right here, click shut up. I'm sorry. Like, comment, subscribe, everything about this, me. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, I keep trying to say Facebook, but I don't have Facebook. Well, I have PlayStation Network. I still I throw that out. I was sweating in the last video with the one division. I know. I know. I'm still working on it. I got the fan on this time. A little less sweat. A little less sweat. Anyway, goodbye. Like, comment, subscribe, email, all that jazz. Goodbye. Goodbye.